Hey fellow gold winners, it's Angry Tartul, and first I want to send my big thanks to latest Patreon, Lucky59. Thank you a lot, I appreciate your support. Second, I want to let you know that my latest video about Zetans, supposed to be kind of funny, end up not very funny, I know my sense of humor is kind of odd, I apologize for that if you felt like this video was really bad. But now, to the point. Chinese stealth armor, what I figured out, I was testing it today and I have a lot of good to say about this Chinese stealth armor. As you can see from the description, prevents damage and diseases from waterborne hazards, blend with the environment while sneaking, reduced falling damage. All the good stuff and what's important to know, it's not a legendary item, it's craft table item similar to hazmat suit to obtain the plans i don't want to give any spoilers then i will just say you need to follow settlers quest line that's it and if you follow settlers quest line you can obtain the plans if it's already too late for you no worries if you will get a lot of gold they will sell you plans later now the bad news is it's not tradable if i try to drop it I have the message it will be destroyed, What means I cannot trade it with anyone. You need to craft it on your character and use it on your character. Now here you can see how it looks. It's really cool, should probably take off my backpack for a moment. Yep, that's how this stealth armor look like. It's really awesome. Good looking, but best part about it it is a hazmat suit. Excuse me, guys. It is a hazmat suit and stealth armor, two in one. And even more awesome, you can take off the helmet, not the armor. You can take off the helmet and armor is still working. You, if you don't want to use this helmet, you can replace it like what I'm normally using. I want my sunglasses. I want my miner hat and I want my veil of secrets. Then I can wear those items instead of Chinese stealth helmet. Or whatever else you want to wear. You can put whatever you like. And as you can see, if I'm moving, I'm still invisible. At first I was thinking that this armor will suck. I was like, oh, it will be probably like a one piece of chameleon armor on you, but no. It's not, it's more like a perma stealth boy. As long as you are crouched, you are under effect of a stealth boy. Let's get in and I will show you it in combat. Okay, now what else I really like about this stealth armor? If I drag a weapon and especially in first person, like see the bow, if I aim, will cover a lot of screen. Now it's transparent, it doesn't cover anything and I can be moving, I can be stationary. What is annoying if you do not know, if you use chameleon armor, whenever you move, you are visible, you stop, you're getting invisibility and every time the invisibility is triggered, there is like a flash on the screen. I will demonstrate you. I have some chameleon armor with me. Look at that. I move, visible, I stop and there is this flash on the screen. Everything is super bright. Every time you stop and move, uh, sometimes it's very annoying. Okay, in case of Chinese stealth armor, it's not happening because you are invisible constantly. If you go, oh, I didn't show you, into effects, Chinese stealth armor stealth field. It's very similar to just a regular stealth boy stealth field. It's equivalent of all five pieces of chameleon armor, but works regardless if you are stationary or moving. This makes this armor so powerful. I can be moving and those ghouls cannot see me. I broke one because I was here before and currently he basically walk into me and still not able to see me. I can shoot them. Yeah, first shot does not register. That's, that's happening sometimes. Okay, the second shot is a killing shot. I know the stealth is not perfect at this moment. There are some bugs similar to VATS. But I have something better to show you guys. Look at that. I'm using my, my flashlight. Can you see that? Is it, it amazing? 
I can finally use my flashlight and be stealthy and I can see everything and they cannot see me. The stealth field, the stealth field covers the light. They cannot see this light. I can see it, they cannot. It's amazing in every single dark area where you will be blinded. Like I can go into like dark area like in here, can use my light and everything is bright and nice. And I'm still invisible. I'm walking around like nothing happened. I can be full health. I can be full health and I can play successfully one shotting those ghouls. Oh, this one detect me. Yeah. If you miss sometimes or if you hit them, what I notice recently with this patch, uh, in case of stealth, they much more likely to detect you when you are shooting them, especially when you hit them. Like a detection event caused by hitting an enemy seems to be much stronger than it used to be before. Like, look at those ghouls sleeping. They cannot see me even though my flashlight is straight on him. They cannot see me. He's totally lost. He heard something when I was approaching. Now he's totally lost. Bye bye. And as you can see, I'm having a lot of fun with Bo and I'm enjoying this stealth suit. It's amazing. I really like it. It's probably worth more for me personally than a lot of other stuff that is sold for thousands of gold. I, I mean, this one is sold for thousands of gold as well, but you can get it for free from Settler's Questline. Then if you didn't finish it yet, then do it. If you already did it, yeah, that will be expensive. It's not tradable. Luckily, I went for Settlers with my secondary character. That's my secondary character. And I'm working at this moment on Stealth Archer build. Then this build will be probably up as soon as I finish it, like maybe Monday. So far, it's very promising. I'm enjoying this armor. I can use my light. This light is like such a huge difference for me. I was always so annoyed that whenever I press a peep boy light, I bright the light and I miss one mob. I will be instantly dead in my unyielding armor. And as you can see, I can go through the dark corridors of burrows, unspotted by all those ghouls, with a flashlight on, what's very helpful in here. Otherwise, it's easy to miss a lot of valuable stuff, but we are here for other reason, as previously I was doing all my tests next to one of the turrets, and she's perfect to demonstrate some stuff, not, not for everything, obviously, but very good for some things. And that's the true reason why we are down here in the burrows, a trusty turret that served me well so many times that I'm always coming back to uh, check some simple stuff like how much penalty I'm actually getting for using the light. You can see the bracket is fully open. If I switch on the light, the bracket is getting smaller. Then I'm getting penalty for use of the light, but the stealth is so good that in many situations the mobs are not perceptive enough to spot me even if I'm using the light. It's how powerful this stealth suit is. Now I switch off the light and my bracket is going open again. Now how this compare to chameleon armor pieces? I actually have only three chameleon armor pieces with me, but one of those is leather and one of those is plus one agility, but not leather, it's robot. But let's quickly equip those three armor pieces. As you can see at this moment, bracket is much smaller and three armor pieces with chameleon are not as good as Chinese stealth armor. Chinese stealth armor is as good as all the pieces of chameleon, plus it works when you are moving, what's crazy important. And now if I switch on the light, as you can see I'm instantly in danger and I need to run. What's else important? As you can see I'm under a direct bright light and I'm fully hidden. If I will try to do the same trick with my unyielding armor, I will get detected and shot upon by this turret. If I swap to the chameleon pieces, 
I'm in caution because I was swapping, then I'm waiting to get back into hidden. And as you can see, because I have only three chameleon pieces and not five, my bracket is almost closed and almost into caution. Now, if I start to moving, I'm instantly in danger. Then, as you can see, stealth armor, Chinese stealth armor, is so much better than chameleon armor for full health builds. And don't forget about insane radiation resistance. Radiation is like nothing because it's a hazmat suit with stealth abilities. It's like using a hazmat suit that come with some extra damage resistance and energy resistance and on top of everything with always active stealth boy. And if that's not enough, you can take off a head part, put whatever you like and you still have fully functional hazmat suit. It cannot go much better. This armor is amazing. If you guys have any question about it, if you want me to test something more in the future, then please let me know. And now I'm going back to working on my stealth archer build and see you guys in the next one.